greeting scouts fight here and today we will be talking about the thermogenic launcher returnals rocket launcher a game that can be very hit on a miss depending on what perks you're getting it's very perk dependent so i'm gonna give you the must-haves and then my best personal suggestions in order to pick the best possible one off the ground if you're lucky enough and wreak havoc on your enemies without further ado let's get to it so the thermogenic launcher as with all other weapons we have three pairs of two perks and then the last pair consists of three we'll take it from bottom to top and I will tell you which perks and why are the best possible ones you can get. Bottom we have tail fire or thermite rockets. Thermite will cause damage over time and tail fire will fire an additional projectile at the end of your salvo. Hands down you want tail fire because the thermite rockets will do damage over time. They can be useful against some of the tougher enemies but reloading and firing your salvo again is a far more efficient method of dealing large chunks of damage. Tail fire on the way. Our next pair is Mega Rocket or Full Auto. I have to be totally clear about this guys. Without Full Auto the Thermogenic is one of the slowest, least consistent weapons in this game. It sucks poop if you don't have Full Auto. Mega Rocket is an interesting gimmick but full auto will allow you to just get those salvos out of the chamber in a second and deal tremendous amounts of damage as you saw in the initial clip so it's full auto all the way no questions asked full auto is amazing above that we have either enlarged chamber or replicating hits replicating hits can be interesting because sometimes when you hit an enemy you will see an additional projectile being generated and it will hit the enemy again that's what replicating hits does it is pretty powerful but having a larger leeway with your overheating like a larger pretty much magazine a large chamber is really amazing when you get want to get those huge salvos out of the muzzle and just decimate the opposition so for me it's a large chamber hands down by far the best out of these two so on the top trifecta here we have easy to use it gives you more proficiency when killing with this weapon obelite magnet will allow you to get the obelites automatically after you decimate the enemy and critical rockets will sometimes allow your rockets to explode twice so when it comes to combat it's no question critical rockets is the best by far the other two are nice if you get easy to use on the rocket launcher pretty early on in the game you can have a head start with your proficiency oblite magnet mm, will make your life a little bit easier in very open spaces but then again you don't want to be firing slow movie rocket salvos from the other side of the map unless you're trying to hit some turret or something critical rockets by far your best choice here so signing off we're gonna get our final list Tail fire from the bottom, full auto after that, enlarged chamber and critical rockets. If you're lucky enough to get a combination like that, just take a screenshot of your finds, post it on the comment section below and I will favor it and let the other scouts drool over your thermogenic launcher. Hope you found this useful, I'm covering all the guns in Returnal, will be posting the list by the end of this vid aside from my other vids that cover the story and mechanics and so on and so forth you can stick around for more content like this so sub like and share if you found this useful and until next time be well stay frosty and always strive for perfection cheers